guys, today for our daily leveled reader, we're going to be reading Attack of the Giant Squirrel. And this is by Gadel Mantis, and it's illustrated by Joe Cepeda. The strategy focus is the town of Gwynville has a dangerous problem. As you read, evaluate, or think about how well the author writes about the solution. Remember, the solution is how our problem is solved. One day, Gardner and his dad were walking around a family's farm. Suddenly, a squirrel scampered by. Squirrels are such pests, Garner's dad said. They dig holes and eat flowers from our gardens. How can you not like squirrels? They're great acrobats, Garner said. It's always fun to watch them leap from tree to tree. After dinner that night, Garner watched a funny television show with his parents. Suddenly, in the middle of the show, a reporter came onto the screen. A terrifying event has occurred in the town of Kruger. The reporter announced, A colossal squirrel has destroyed the farmland surrounding the town. People are fleeing in fear. Why is everyone afraid of a big squirrel? How big could it be? Garner's mom asked. She found out when the television showed pictures of the squirrel, it was bigger than a barn. When their cat, Jasper, saw the squirrel, he quickly hid under the couch. People who live in Gwynville and Durant Town are leaving for safer places, the reporter said. Garner and his parents were stunned. They lived in Gwynville. Will the squirrel wreck our town too, asked Garner. It might. We should leave tomorrow just to be safe, his mom said. His dad agreed. That means we have to pack tonight, but only what you need. The car can't hold everything, said dad. Garner went to his room and sta started packing. He picked up a small tape recorder. I don't really need this, Garner thought as he sat on his bed. When Garner was almost finished, he heard the tapping on his window. He looked over and saw a squirrel. I wonder what it wants, Garner thought. Garner opened his window, and to his surprise, the squirrel began speaking. I'm here to warn you about Carl, the giant squirrel. He'll probably reach Grenville by tomorrow. How can you talk? asked Garner, shocked that a little creature could speak perfectly. I've always been able to talk, but there are a few people I want to talk to, the squirrel said. People think we're pest. Since you've always treated squirrels respectfully, I decided to warn you. By the way, my name is Tom. Is there any way to stop Carl the giant squirrel? asked Garner. Well, squirrels are afraid of cats, but Carl is probably only afraid of really large cats. I hope I've been helpful. Good luck, Tom said. Just as the squirrel left, Jasper walked in. You're not big enough to scare a giant squirrel, Colonel said as he picked up the cat. Then he looked at his tape recorder. Suddenly, he thought of a plan. The squirrel doesn't have to know you're just a little cat, said Garner. Garner put a new tape into the recorder and recorded a few meows from Jasper. Once he finished recording the cat, Garner called Ian, his friend. Ian often did announcements on the microphone at the baseball games. Garner asked him to meet him at the baseball stadium in the morning. The next morning at the stadium, Garner told Ian about his plan. Suddenly, they heard a loud pounding. It was getting closer and closer. Soon, they could see it was a squirrel running and leaping towards the stadium. Quick, Ian cried. Put the tape before it's, or play the tape before it's too late. Garner passed play, pressed play while Ian held the microphone next to the recorder. A thunderous meow sounded from the stadium speakers. The giant squirrel, thinking that a giant cat was nearby, skidded to a stop and looked around frantically. It trembled in fear. When the squirrel heard another meow, it ran to a tree for safety. But all the trees were too small, so the squirrel ran as far from Gwynville as it could. Thanks to Garner, the people of Gwynville never had trouble with giant squirrels again, but they kept a tape of Jasper's meow close by, just in case. I right, guess as always your questions are going to be listed in the description box below for you to think about write about or talk about whatever you would like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!